Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. I'm going to take you through a tutorial here for your location-based reminders and then otherwise reminders here with your Google Home. Now, today's video specifically deals with those of you with an iPhone. So, we're going to do a follow-up video here very soon on Android devices. So, if you have an Android tablet or an Android phone, that video is going to be for you. This one's for iOS devices. Now what I'm gonna show you are all the different applications you can use here to set and or create reminders here, whether they're location-based or otherwise, and then how to receive those, ensure that you're receiving those on both your iPhone, your iPad, and or the Google Home, and then I'm gonna give you some more insights into how this whole system works. So get ready. We're gonna start by looking at the Google Home support page here. You can see it's actually broken down by Android and iPhone or iPad. And then it's also telling you at the top there that it's only available in the US, UK, Australia, and Canada. So you do have to be in one of those countries or you do have to have your language set to one of those in order for this to work. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you here is if you have multiple people, and I'm not gonna show that in this video, but if you do, what you need to do is make sure you've turned on multi-user, linked your accounts, both of your accounts, and then you make sure that each one has personal results with voice match on. Once you've done that, it's essentially just a number of agreements that you're gonna go through. So moving on, let me show you the settings on your iPhone that you're going to need. Now, inside your settings, there's notifications, and you're going to want to scroll down, and you've got to have already downloaded the Google Assistant app. You have to make sure that your notifications are on. Now, it doesn't matter whether they're temporary or persistent. I like to keep mine persistent until I've kind of got rid of them. So make sure that's on, and then inside the Google Home application, you also need to ensure that your notifications and your personal results are turned on. So in the more settings tab here, and then into your device itself. So that's my basement home here. I'm gonna go into there and you can see personal results are turned on and so are the notifications. So you do need both of those turned on for you to get notifications on your phone. Now over to Google Assistant, I'm going to ask Google Assistant to add a reminder and you can see right away, What's the reminder? you have a time and a place option here. You can choose either. Now I'm gonna tell it that I wanna pick up milk and then I'm gonna choose when do you based on a place. And it's allowing me to choose my home location here. You can also switch to a time, but you can also type in a direct location. So you can actually type in an address here. Once you've done that, you can go ahead, you can switch the title if it didn't get put in right, or you just wanna switch the title for whatever reason. So I'm gonna change this to get milk, then I'm gonna hit done, and there you go. You've created a reminder inside the application. Now within your reminders here, this is still inside the Google Assistant application. There's a number of ways to get to this, but I'm just gonna use the view reminders here at the bottom of my Google Assistant. Once I'm inside of there, you can see I have a number of overdue reminders, and then I have one that's at a place, and you can see it's get milk, and I've set the address there. Now I'm just gonna manage my other reminders. I'm gonna get rid of them because they were just tests from before. So I just tap on them and they're gone. Now you could also manage them through the Google Home itself. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add another. It's to do laundry when I get home again. And so now you can see I have two. I have one at my home. I have one at that other address that I showed you. Now I'm going to move over to a couple other applications here. I'm gonna move over to Google Calendar. And this is one of the three applications that you can go ahead and create a reminder in. So there's Google Home, there's Google Calendar, and then there's what's called Inbox now by Gmail. And so all three of those, you can actually go ahead and create a reminder. Now, inside of Google Calendar here, you can see how it brings up your contacts. It's allowing you to go ahead and choose those contacts directly. I set it for a time period here just because I want to show you the different reminders and how they react. But now here I'm over in the inbox application 
and I actually just swipe to the left and it allows me to set a reminder. Now you can pick a date or time or you could pick a location as well if you wanted to. You can see in that menu there. So I'm just going to pick a time that's relatively close to now so that I can show you guys how this all shows up on your Google Home and then also on your phone at the same time. So now I'm going to show you that you can just hit the plus at the bottom of inbox as well. You can go ahead and create a reminder that way and I'm going to create one called email pictures to dad. From there what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that I want to pick a place and you have to allow the inbox application to use your location. Now I'm choosing to use it even when I'm out. Now you can go ahead and you could pick a place. I'm not actually going to pick one for this one. Just going to save that and that reminder set. Now in the menu for inbox there's actually a section called reminders and I'm going to head into there and what you're going to see is that all four of the reminders that I've set during this time have shown up in inbox. So they've all been amalgamated from the three applications. So this is really important no matter where you set your reminders they're going to show up in all three applications. Now back over to Google Assistant just to show you what I'm talking about I'll go back into my reminders and you can see I have one at a time which is text Elizabeth and then at a place I have three different ones. I have that email pictures to dad, I have the do laundry and I have the get milk. Now so let's go ahead and do a demo here. I'm going to show you how this all works. Hey Google, what are my reminders? You have one reminder today. Text Elizabeth for March 18th, 2018 at 1 p.m. So the one thing to note here is that both of these devices are about to get a notification right at the one o'clock. That's my reminder going to trigger. Now, what's important to note about all of this is that the notification isn't going to make any sound on my Google Home and that's because I've set this reminder within an application. It hasn't been set on the Google Home itself. So when you set it this way, you're just going to get the notification with this little dotted light that you're about to see. Hey Google, what's up? Just wanted to let you know that you have one reminder. Text Elizabeth for today at 1 p.m. Hey Google, add a reminder. What's the reminder? To go outside. Okay, go outside. When do you want to be reminded? Home. Okay. I'll remind you on your phone when you get home. Hey Google, set a reminder. What's the reminder? Email Elizabeth. Sure, email Elizabeth. When do you want to be reminded? 12.41 p.m. Okay, I'll remind you at 12.41 p.m. So the next thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you when you set a reminder using Google Home, even if you use a time or a location, the alarm or the notification to you is going to look slightly different than when you've set it on an iPhone in an app. So let's watch that here. I have a reminder for Brian. Hey Google, what are my notifications? Hi, Brian. You have one reminder. Email Elizabeth for today at 12.41 p.m. You can check for updates like these at any time by asking, what's up? All right, well, there you go. Now, one thing I didn't say during the physical tutorial here is that your reminders on the Google Home, that little white dot there, will only sit there for 10 minutes. Now, that doesn't mean you can't get your reminders after 10 minutes, but it does mean that that notification or that visual notification is only going to show up for those 10 minutes. Now, that's not really a problem if you kind of get into the habit of 
asking Google Home about your reminders and or getting the notifications on your phone, which I showed you how to do in the video here today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button here at the end of the video if you'd like more of these tutorials. And of course, if you have that Android device, that's coming up in our next tutorial video.